Hello everyone, I'm Jugger Wright and welcome back to our single player Minecraft Bedrock Survival World where we are working on draining this ocean monument and we are a pretty decent way through. I, I would say we're not quite halfway, but uh, you know, we're, we're definitely making progress. Uh, we've got a long ways to go still, so it's probably best to get started uh, sorry it took so long to get the stream actually going we are unfortunately um, under a little bit of a storm deal here so I wanted to make sure I had a pretty steady connection beforehand and I didn't know we were even having a storm until I got ready to record, isn't that how it uh, <laughs> how it always goes? So we are going to take our sponges here and not do that. <laughs> it's not going to help anything at all. But we are going to uh, try and get the the most out of our sponges here and. Be as efficient with these things as possible hopefully no misplaces as that does lead to a little bit of uh, extra running back and forth and a little bit of more time on the project so the more efficient we are the quicker we are and I'm I'm really hyped about getting this uh, drained <laughs> And it will be a long time before I do another one. These things are a ton of work. Um, but uh, outside of getting this thing drained, there's just so much that, uh, you know, is got to be done in this area. Uh, we, got a, we got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, we're going to have our Guardian Farm slash base. Uh, as you guys may know who have been following along uh, at the moment the plan isn't to worry about experience from the guardians we have plenty of XP farms we just want something that is going to run constantly while we are at the base so that it's consistently collecting shards for us and that is all we are worried about so that's what we are going to that, that's the current goal anyways. Let's get uh, these wet sponges in the hot bar so we know that we're getting them all. So, I mean, other than that, we had talked about a glow squid farm in the area and I mean I don't know excuse me I had to I had to sneeze real quick and I had to cut the mic off um, I don't know if we'll get regular squid spawns in that or not until we get there uh, so we may do two different types of squid farms we may even end up having a drowned farm out here I mean there's no reason why we can't do um, some ocean based farms right um, the glow squid and regular squid will share a passive mob cap but uh, the guardians would be in a hostile mob cap and you know if, if we have it in a way to where that you know we go there in AFK <clears throat> or whatnot, then it shouldn't interfere with our guardian farm, which we're gonna get as many of these areas. Uh, we're gonna try and include every uh, guardian spawn spot possible into the base, so that you know as we're out and about and around the base, we have good odds that 
some of the locations are working you know with not worrying about XP and just something that's going to be running in the background probably not going to be you know the most efficient farm but at the same time we're in hopes that it will definitely be um, productive in, in long term. Alright. So we've got that. here there we go that's a little ways up so I'll just grab that sponge and pop up here this way should put us where we want to be right um, right there Ooh. I think that's actually a block higher yeah and that's what happened there now we also um, I do play alone in this world uh, ninjas dynasty um, this is a uh, single player world uh however i am part of an smp called forever bedrock um you can find out all about uh that world and this world over on my youtube a lot of cool stuff going on and if you do head over to youtube and check it out check out the uh other members of the forever bedrock server because you know they got a lot of cool stuff going on uh, I, I I switch up between the Xbox and the PC um, if I'm at home preferably uh, the PC because you know recording and streaming and everything it's just it's just easier um, if I'm not home and I'm doing you know off-camera stuff then I do tend to do a lot of that on the uh, Xbox just so I'm not having to carry the PC around um, but mostly mostly on the PC I get way better performance on the PC Bedrock and Java players crossplay. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, there are mechanical differences in that uh, the two versions, uh, mostly with. Uh, I mean, even though they're doing all this parody stuff, uh, I think uh, there's still a lot of differences with uh, Redstone. Um, they can actually get into crawl mode which we cannot um, which would just be a technical thing but that does sound really cool um, unfortunately right now I even though cross-platform playing does sound really really good I mean I have played Java edition um, but uh, I haven't played it in a while. But I do know some players that are just, you know, strictly Java Edition as well. <clears throat> so being able to cross-platform play is, is a pretty big deal. I'm sure a lot of people appreciate being able to do that. I 
get uh, like a little peaky hole here. Oh, that didn't work. And all I did was let, well, no, we're high enough water, it wouldn't have. Um, where can we pop through at? Oh, well, here's our little hole, anyways. Well, I mean, just because you're on PC, um, doesn't mean necessarily straight up Java Edition, because uh, I first played Bedrock Edition on PC, uh, not realizing there was a difference when I started playing. You know what, we need our fortune pickaxe. And I believe we have some wood we can use. Um, right there. Yep, fortune. Let's just grab up some of this coal. Whatever's in this little spot here. Go ahead and fortune it out. Libra has stone right here. We can fill that right back in. We don't want any. We don't want any holes. We're, we are going to go underground eventually and get caves and everything lit up. We want to get a, as good a spawn rates as we possibly can. And so all these different spawning spots will be bad. So we want to try and eliminate that. Um, I believe if you bought Java Edition, you are now able to get Bedrock Edition free um, because Java Edition, um, I was I was able to get Java Edition because of Game Pass, which is how I started playing it. But um, oh, I don't. I need. I don't need torches. I need fuel. Uh, because of Game Pass, but, oh, there was coal in there as well. Um, where can we, we'll just throw this, where can we put it? <laughs> as an empty shulker, that's gravel. Um, I think, was there sticks in here already? No, but there was some torches. We can grab those couple torches and throw those sticks in there. Um, but anyways, I believe, uh, they, they're sold together now, Bedrock and Java, so if you own one, you can technically claim the other, or at least there was a time frame that that was available, um, if it, I don't know if it's something that, uh, they only did for a limited time or not, but you could check into that, um, because, uh, with Bedrock Edition, you'll be able to play with everybody on those other devices as well without having to worry about a cross-platform type server and to have both versions if you can get the other one for free is yeah totally worth it um, I was playing Bedrock Edition on computer before I even had an Xbox, but uh, the Xbox, it you know, for like I said, for off-camera stuff, just going around doing things, is 
very very handy because you can just put whatever world it is up in a realm and then you know you can access it from any device oh, that was not very efficient It's uh it's really nice to have you here on the stream with us though. <clears throat> and if you're around and I do have free time at some other point, I would definitely like to check out that cross platform deal cuz that does sound amazing. I mean, there's no way it could incorporate the Java mechanics into Bedrock automatically. Uh, so I'm, I'm, it makes it really curious as to how that would work. Now, with the parody stuff they're doing, you know, that's that's gonna make things a lot easier here in the future um, I'm not paying attention to my sponge count so I'm not sure if I'm picking them up or um, one thing I do know is that apparently the offhand in bedrock edition is getting pretty close to being functional uh, foxy no tail actually has an add-on available right now that you can use to make it work but uh, it's just working with the code that's already there so the developers have it pretty pretty close it'd be nice to see them get that done I mean oh, I just placed the wet sponge <laughs> I mean, Sweeping Edge would be nice. Don't get me wrong. I, I would love to have Sweeping Edge on Bedrock Edition. Um, I think that would be amazing. Uh, but I would take the offhand. Uh, I would rather have the offhand first. Uh, honestly it would just make mending up your tools and stuff so much easier and quicker I mean I guess technically uh, Technically, Sweeping Edge would too, as you could take out more mobs at a time. But. Yeah, you're right. Uh, sweeping Edge is definitely no substitute for spamming the sword. And with the offhand, you can you know, place torches while you're mining. And instead of having to click back and forth, um, place blocks. You know, there's just there's so many, so many benefits to having that uh, having that offhand. Yeah, you know, that cooldown, I, I admit, has gotten me in Java Edition uh, on more than one occasion. <laughs> that cooldown is no joke, especially when you're not used to it. Uh, the first time um, it happened, 
I just, I, I just did not, I didn't even know about a cooldown. I, I just, you know, thought it was same as Bedrock Edition. And boy, oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I thought, I thought the biggest, uh, you know, combat wise, I just didn't know that there were any differences. But I learned. <laughs> now Java, the the a lot of farms are much easier to make. I'll say that a lot of farms are much easier to make in Java Edition. jump right over it. Oh, goodness. And I missed. As you can see, my parkour skills are excellent. Non-existent, but other than that, excellent. Yeah, I just, I, I thought that uh, the last time I did this, I didn't remove the monument. I just gutted it. Um, since I'm actually removing this one, and, and this goes back to a uh, comment a moment ago before the cooldown deal. I, I got sidetracked with that one because I, I feel the pain. <laughs> Uh, I do not envy uh, that aspect of Java Edition, um, but I just, I thought, you know, with uh, all the sponging and, you know, everything going on here, <clears throat> just, you know, doing it in sections where I'm able to, you know, break it down and, you know, sponge out an area, take down the wall, and the monument with me section by section as I go I just felt that that would make it not feel as repetitive and as horrible of a grind as you know it can seem to be otherwise and so far it's been working I'm uh, a okay with it Break up a little bit of that grind. The rep it's the repetition, I think. <clears throat> well, yeah. It regardless if it's a monument or whatever, that sponging and it, it's the same thing, really. Uh, the size of the whatever it is you're doing, that's that's what uh, matters at the end of the day. Regardless where it's at, it's still, and that's if you have sponges. Last time I did a monument, um, I had like half the sponges I have now. <laughs> uh, so that was, that was not as much fun. And that was uh, in 116. So, you know, everybody's going to the nether and drying the sponges and, uh, I don't know it just to me it seems like it takes longer in the long run really I mean by the time I go to the nether and do all that I mean I could have just ran them half through the furnace and you know while I was working with the other half and just snuck through my little wall here and been on about my business you know that's how I feel about it And, I mean, I can understand if you're, you know, not necessarily, um, if you don't have a good source of fuel, 
then yeah, by all means, the nether will help you do it because you don't need fuel for it. But I am not hurting for fuel in this world at all. Um, so without having to worry about fuel, I mean, because, yeah, I dug up some coal right there because it was right there, but I could just easily go back to my stronghold base and grab all the fuel I need with no problem. In fact, I, I just, that just made me realize that, I mean, we're close enough, I just fly, I've just flown back and forth. So we do not even have a nether portal here, but we are definitely going to want to get one in and we are going to want to get it linked up to the nether hub so that, uh, you know, all the running back and forth doesn't, uh, is it just that one block? No, let's do, go ahead and, go ahead and use a sponge. Um, so all that running back and forth doesn't, you know always have to be like that every base should be hooked up to the nether hub <clears throat> we need to get this middle section here dried out and then we can continue down the uh two sides I feel like we're actually making pretty good progress here with this one oops I misplaced that one a little low uh, right there I think after tonight's stream, uh, well, I won't be doing it tonight, but uh, the next thing I'm going to do in this world is, <clears throat> and you'll have to check out the next video for that, the next YouTube video, which I believe will be episode 70. Um, we're going to go find a few more monuments, I think, or not find, we have... We have either one or two more monuments that we found in episode 30-something or whatever. I know there's at least one, but a part of me feels like we had found two that were really, really close. And uh, so either the one or the two or whatever, and I might be wrong, there could be more. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look at my notes, but yeah, I guess I need to take care of you, don't I? And this dude, he's just like spinning in circles. Um, so you have to check out the next video, but we're going to go raid those monuments, uh, kill the Elder Guardians, and get us some more sponges. So hopefully we can have one set of sponges drying while we're doing an entire area here. Uh, or, you know, to be able to do more while before we have to swap them out. Because even though we're not going far, that is still time. I mean, moments are moments. Well, he was like glitching through the glass or something. 
And now they're gonna die. Or maybe not. That water will give them something to keep them wet and alive for a moment. Still daytime. Phantoms are probably going to be a thing pretty soon, I would imagine. Um, not exactly sure when the last time was that I slept. You know, Fred, uh, speaking of your base, do you still have a lot more of that to dig out? I mean, even though I'm the one digging out for the horror labyrinth, I feel like you've done just as much if not more digging than I have. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I could be completely wrong. But I know, I know you have done a lot of digging over there. Oh, another thing I just thought of when we were talking earlier about farms in the area. Um, we don't have a slime farm yet. And as we are moving to newer areas and, you know, things progress more and so forth, so forth. And we get, you know, our fancier stuff. Yeah, whatever. Um... We're going to need more slime. So with us not having a slime farm yet. And. Oops. And this being. There's at least one slime chunk here. Um, I don't know if it gets cut off or not. But I do know that there is a slime chunk here. Uh, we definitely should have a slime farm. So we're going to go down to 38, which is this level here. And you know what? I don't even think I properly said hello. So hello, Fred. I think I was caught up in um, Ninja's cross-platform thing. Which I am still, it still baffles me how, how that would even work, but, you know. Let's grab a couple stacks of gravel so that we can seal this stuff off. Bloop. Um, I guess... Let's take that. And that's all wall height. Or that's the that's the wall right there. Or where our wall is. If I quit dropping gravel on my face, might be able to get somewhere, right? That'll stop the water from gooshing out of there. And this is level 38 here, right? Um, 
it's not. So we're temporarily going to do that number. And is kind of freezing up on me there I do not like it when it does that there it goes again that is totally OBS by the way um, if anybody knows what I can do to stop that from happening uh, please let me know because I would definitely be oh man it's doing it again it's not uh, it's not my speeds it's not uh, it's, it's just strictly OBS um, and I'm not sure why I think I got all my sponges. <clears throat> We're gonna assume that I do and kind of move on a little bit here. Um, there we go. I don't know if that helped any. Is this the side that uh, I start tearing down. Neither I take it. There's our way back over there. So this has got to be the side that I was trying to work on. <clears throat> I guess it doesn't matter from the looks of it though. So let's grab that. did not go that jump did not go as planned okay that water is coming from there so let's yep, yep, there we go and sponge there up we want to see our wall is here Is completely cut off. I did that. Uh, we still need to cut. 
cut this off. I guess these were like waterlogged blocks here. Or technically, I guess this is just against the wall or something. That's why I couldn't get out. <laughs> I literally blocked myself in. Okay, that's not. Darn it. here this area here should be dry now I believe there's OBS again yeah I've messed around with a few things and nothing seems to help that uh, that glitch there I'm up to date on the newest version blah 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 all that kind of stuff all the things that uh, you know one would think would cause such a thing obviously um, either I don't see it affecting other people the way it's affecting me so even though it's OBS I, I don't think it's you know the pro uh, program just you know not being good I think it's just something in my settings and even though I've gone back to default settings I don't know how many times and just kind of you know, made adjustments from there to you know as, you know for what's needed I just cannot figure it out maybe I ought to reset to the defaults one more time and try again it does seem like it's gotten I had you know I had a Windows update the other night and it seems like it's gotten a lot worse since then so you know that Windows updates seem to always mess with it for some reason not really a hundred percent sure why I just know that it's a thing Oh, that is not the right wall <laughs> that was not the wall that I wanted to do that to let's uh, put these back up and then turn around and do it to the appropriate wall <laughs> I sure do not need this flooding oh Now, let's turn around. And I haven't even gone down yet. So, let's pop these out while we can.
Let's uh, pop up here where we can reach that one a little better. I'm not worried about that level because that will allow me to get torches under there easily. But I do want to get all these here. I meant to get these as I could reach them. Um, that would have that would have helped immensely. We are on level 38, and we want to go to 39. I do not have stone on me or cobblestone so gravel yeah there we go and we'll just take this down this way despite losing some gravel and it becoming flint um, from you know using our little torch trick to bring down these walls uh, we're still going to come out with way more gravel than we've gone in with even uh, because of all this. <laughs> Just so you guys know. <laughs> in case any of you were curious about that, uh, how much we were going to be down, we're not. We're still going to be up. here let's uh drop our gravel getting caught on stuff things and things are getting done you know all this misplacing that I do does not help us get this done any quicker either I, I, I know <laughs> and believe me nobody nobody wants it done any more than I do <laughs> I 
I am so ready to move on to the next part of the project. You have no idea. Or if you've done this before, maybe you do. This layer and do all this now. definitely do not want those water sources joining up and creating a solid water source across there that's going to take more sponging so let's not dig any further and do any more damage than we may have possibly already done and let's get our wall secure and now um, place our sponge and now we can deal with this where that water is coming from so we are actually on level 38 now so we can fill that in oh did we just uh, tear okay nothing that nothing that nothing that hurt anything that little number that number and voila now we're cooking now we're cooking and we'll get get to digging this monument like I said we've, we've got a lot of work to do um, getting this done and you know if you've done this it takes time you you know that and those of you who have been following me along you guys see the time that we put into it I mean we don't really waste a whole lot of time we make pretty good progress I think uh, or we're pretty you know efficient with our time that we do have and it's just a matter of putting the time in and the work that goes with that time and getting it done and we are getting so much closer every every day okay um that goes there <laughs> um and that Voila, voila. And that goes there. And that's great. Let's, uh, let's 
see what we can take care of as we go. got slime over there waiting for us I try not to kill the little slimes because they help you know take up the mob cap but no matter you know it just seems like they find a way to run into you and you accidentally get them anyways oh, somehow I missed that Got it. Um, um, we've got a full inventory. <laughs> I don't know what we picked up and what we didn't, but we now have a full inventory. Let's see, we have 32, that's 52. We are missing a sponge. Uh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Like, I've been trying so hard to keep track of them so that that doesn't happen again. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get our gravel in here. You know, I completely forgot about taking them drown out until I just seen that uh, rotten flesh. We can definitely trade that to our clerics. Oh, that's lantern actually will go there we may have to dig out more chests soon for the miscellaneous stuff as well as uh i'm not sure how many shulkers of prismarine we're gonna get just from tearing down the monument um we're gonna end up with quite a bit i could have swore i just seen a beam go right past my face um Let's get all these blocks before they despawn. That was like, I, I imagine that in order for that to happen, where you get the torch under there, like that has to be like some exactly perfect timing. And I don't know. It, it's pretty cool every time it happens. We are totally about to accidentally kill these little slimes here. I got them baby slimes. Uh, you know, they're, they're the mini me's of the slime family. I guess they're not, that doesn't necessarily make them babies, but, uh, you know, the tadpoles seem to like them, and at the end of the day, I guess that's what matters. And frogs, tadpoles, frogs, um, all of that. here get a torch on the glass get one there get one there one there one there 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 and there we don't need two of these together take one back and I believe Should be able to run through and do this. 
this number and through here. Swipeity, swipeity, swipe. And I'm not sure. I think those are just all gonna, yeah. This is so satisfying watching all these come down at one time. I mean, it's kind of hard to watch, um, you know, because you're like moving along. But I mean, you can you can see inevitably, I guess. Uh, man, that's just so satisfying. So satisfying. Watching it pour down while you torch the next one. I imagine that, you know. It's like the Minecraft equivalent of a hailstorm minus uh, the pain. kind of interesting that when a gravity block falls it pushes you out of the way right if there's an open block to push you to when you're doing stuff like this right here like when I was placing them you know they would just kind of whoop. I mean that could be because I was in the water or you know I had water in my feet or whatever but when you're like digging straight up and there's like an air gap behind you they don't push you back then you know they just come right down and suffocate the life out of you if you don't have a torch at your feet I'm not sure how I got extra torch in a slot but you know it is what it is get these other sponges and we can get this wall down Ooh, get this last little bit go that's uh that's good stuff yes so i think we can uh probably get one more section tonight but i do believe uh you know before before we do that um i am definitely going to need an intermission uh when you're recording you definitely need something to drink and I have totally ran right out of coffee. Um, so, yeah. I need a. Did I not? Okay, I guess it was just. Okay. Whoa, that's interesting. Yeah, I ran out of coffee. So, I need to get more coffee. Walk my dog. Get your snacks, get you something to drink, um, you know, walk your dogs, whatever you got to do. And we will, we're going to take a quick intermission. And then after our intermission of about 10, maybe 15 minutes, um, we will be back.
right, I hope you guys were able to get your drinks and your snacks and walk your dogs or whatever you needed to do. I have gotten my Maxwell House cup refilled and ready to go on uh, this next area here. It's going to be... I don't think we're going to have as I mean, we're not going to have as much bunging before we reach to the monument. And hopefully the monument's going to help break it up and make it a little bit easier to sponge. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We're going to, I guess, break in here. Oh. Um, well, that did not do exactly as I was expecting. So we're just going to ride this up. And it just won't be there in a minute as we take the water levels down. There we go. That's interesting. We had Prismarine clean over on this side still. All right. Uh... go that first block is in place we can just get up on it and get the ball rolling um, I don't okay that that did work <laughs> Uh, come over here and go ahead and grab this one that way we don't have to worry about it getting stuck up there so maybe oh man that's that's the misplacing that we're trying to avoid right there I, w I wonder if Four wide would have been okay with this pattern. I mean, that would have saved us a lot of placing of the gravel. I probably should have tested that out uh, in a test world or something just to see. I mean, it wouldn't have took much to just, you know, throw some water in a four wide gap and see how it did you know like I could have even opened up a creative copy of this world and just do in some a couple walls to see I wouldn't even have to have been long enough to go all the way across But I think uh, there was a reason, I, I mean, I, a part of me is like, I know there was a reason that I remember that I was thinking I needed to do three walls. Um, I just remember knowing that if I did this again, I was going to do three wide walls and that the sponges were going to zigzag so I could jump across easily and this and that and. There's a reason that, uh, that I don't know if I actually tested it to see if that reason was valid or not. Like, I don't honestly remember. So, not a hundred percent sure about it. But this is what we got. This is what we're doing. And, I mean, we're making progress. We are definitely making some progress. Make sure I'm not leaving any sponges behind.
Now, if you're just doing a guardian farm, uh, this is not something you have to go through to get a guardian farm. By any means, this is not uh, something you have to go through. just go on with this and we'll deal with that when we come back we'll see how it works out then oh, this is uh, this is all because of that sponge I misplaced we got these little funky bits But I believe if we do our normal thing, um, it should even itself back out, I think. Or we'll get low enough that uh, it won't even matter as we are... Whoop. Ah, yeah, I did it again. We're very close to the uh, top of the monument here. Where this is all going to start getting broken down to smaller deals. I did it again, didn't I? these are enough sponges to get us across here but we are going to see and it did it, it did the trick that we wanted it to do Sponges, we should have 52 wet ones. Interesting, right? Seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. All right. So let's uh, get back over here. This is pretty center, right? Voila! Boom. Probably just ride it on down. There we go. Ooh, 
coffee saves the saves the soul. stacks of gravel with us to do whatever blocking off of the monument we need to do but we can go ahead and get rid of this other stuff so that we have space in our inventory and hopefully a couple stacks of gravel is enough we, we shall see we shall see those are going to be drying while we come see what we've gotten ourselves into here Ooh, whoa let's uh, take it up <laughs> stay in the stream there we on back and this too right to our retaining wall our dam so to speak and then we can um, get some gravel in our inventory to take care of this so that we are killing that infinite water source condition that could be coming at us otherwise. Collect all of our floaty blocks. Yep, that's the way to our area you know we should be able to bring all of that down a block yep there we go not sure what where that torch just came from <laughs> Oh, it was probably on the wall. Yeah, it was probably on the wall. Now, now we need our sponges. Before we make all these into accidental water sources, uh, we can continue sponging our way down to this point here. Let's uh, collect up all of our goodies. Wired, including that one. Mm, we probably still want to hold on to that gravel. Bring those in there. Go ahead and get this stuff out of our inventory to have a little more space. We actually have an open, another open spot without having the. Uh, inner chest in our inventory as well having that uh, extra spot 
will help. Um, not run out of space collecting stuff so easily. Back up in there. Come on. Ride it up. And the question is, where did we leave off? And it looks like... Well, we kind of broke it up here in the middle, didn't we? I want to say this side's higher. But I, mean, I think it all pretty, both sides look pretty similar honestly okay um all right put that there that will be our starting point and that should I think that is gonna like even itself out as we go here. Well, completely missed that jump. Like I said, uh, my parkour skills are not that bad, other than the fact that they're non existent. They're not that bad at all. Centerish. <laughs> All right, I think the way to go. This is me just thinking out loud. It's probably going to be just go somewhat center here. Place down our sponge, right? We got a like a little cutoff spot there. And just yeah, work on a side at a time. And we'll see what that does. Okay, so that's definitely... Definitely had a des the desired effect, I would say. <laughs> the desired effect. And let's get up here. Definitely trying my best to be as efficient with this as possible. Um, really excited about 120. Probably not for the same reasons as a lot of people. Um, but I am excited for 120. I mean, the archaeological stuff is it's cool, you know. Um, not something that I feel like I'm just going to go on a mission to find. I mean, we didn't even do that for the Deep Dark. Though Swift Sneak would be amazing to have. Um, definitely. Make that jump I mean I know most people can probably make that jump but can I make that jump was the question um, so the cherry blossom wood a new wood you know nice and the the color and everything is pretty on point too um, I think it's gonna 
that's going to bring a lot to the game. What? You got to be kidding me. Like it's been dry for two minutes. <laughs> Um, anyways, you know, it's going to bring a lot to the game. The bamboo blocks, the edo, just everything about signs. All the different things about signs, I feel like, is great. <laughs> um, the hanging signs, the edible signs, the being able to do both sides of a sign. Being able to wax a sign. Um, I mean, if they do a way, if they fix the visual glitch deal so that everybody can, you know, see the signs, I imagine that would probably help a lot too. <laughs> Hopefully, that's a part of it. You know, a little bug fix there. Just to, just to make things a little more. Uh, a little more fine tune, we'll say. But uh, definitely, definitely loving everything about the signs. The bamboo, the bamboo wood is, I don't want to say necessarily my favorite part of what's coming in uh, 120 but it is definitely up there on the list camels are going to be kind of fun um, you know you can partner up and ride right on out to the sunset now you know maybe you got you a lady in the world or whatever or you know, Old West theme. And, you know, camels go with, like, a, the whole Egyptian themes and stuff. I mean, for those that do the uh, lore-based stuff, I can see where camels would be, you know, a really big deal. And great to have. Uh, the fact that they're taller and zombies can't get to you while you're on them, I mean, that's like early game change right there that's like a big change to the early game say you spawn in you're like close to a desert man you find you a find you a desert village get you a nice nice camel you can't get wool for a bed before the night hit time hits yeah, it's not going to help you from the creepers and, I mean, well, I mean, I guess it will if you can outride them, but, uh, you know, probably not help you so much from the skeleton arrows and stuff, and you're going to come across that guy with the enchanted bow that's going to wreck your world, right? But, uh, being able to just get away from the husk and stuff and in a quick hurry is going to be helpful. Uh, as well as you know the other zombies I mean if you're I mean think about it if you're on a uh, how many times have you been in a new world and I mean you don't have anything yet you, you're just it's a brand new world you, you don't get a bed and night times up on you and you're like oh my gosh and you haven't really found anywhere to you know do your thing yet or whatnot and you're just like out there and a baby zombie does you in and you you're, you're, you're not even at spawn because you were out, you know, searching around. Maybe you don't even know where you were. Uh, you know, whatever. But that baby zombie got you. I mean, because you just couldn't outrun him. Yeah. Those things are fast and dangerous. Uh, so anyways, this baby zombie wrecks your night. I mean, if you spawn near a desert and you get Campbell camel you don't even have to worry about that anymore which I could see how that would be useful right is it the fence 
symptoms getting me? Like, uh... I know I've seen a phantom. I don't see one now, though. The new pots, uh, the sherds, are, I think, going to be great for decorating and things like that. Even if you're not into the lore, having the ability to, you know, put something together with different images and things like that and have that kind of custom ability uh, with you know and it, you can if you come across that stuff early game now mine you know don't take for granted you're probably not out in the ocean um, getting this stuff early game because I mean, let's face it you don't have respiration or anything like that um, unless you happen to see a magma block that you could you know use for air and such <clears throat> OBS getting me again um, so you might not necessarily have you know be out in the ocean but say you found one of the tails uh, trails and tails uh, deals and man I really need to build a I really need to be able to get up there Can I do it this way? Am I going to flood my face? Ooh. But, uh, you know, again, that, that's something you can get early game if you find, like, the desert well or... I mean, are they still going to be in the desert well? Either way, you get your hands on those. I mean, I, I take your interior to the next level pretty early game, right? Whoa. I almost had it. <laughs> almost being the key word there. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's go back up here. This is, Oop. okay, let's, uh, no, that's, that's not helping, <laughs> that's not helping, the area, uh, so I can write it a little ways, I guess. You know what? We can just go inside and break our way up. Yeah, that's that's easy. There's just there's a lot of things that I mean, 120 is a huge update. Uh, let me know what are your favorite things coming to 120. <clears throat> I mean, there's I just feel like there's. 120 is going to offer so much compared to, you know, what we kind of was expecting. I mean, if you think about it, there, there's a lot of, lot of stuff coming. The Catalyst, truly wireless redstone, uh, for real this time it seems, it... <laughs> Honestly, it kind of reminds me of the uh, old Windows, what was it, Windows 7 advertisements where they were like, well, we got it right this time. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of what the Sculpt Catalyst uh, remind me of, just being honest. <laughs> but, you know. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, the devs are obviously uh, doing their best to put things in that they can. And, I mean, there's there's enough bugs in the game already that 
I think them taking their time trying to make sure something is as close to bug free as possible because I mean obviously I mean you're you're not going to be able to get them all uh, at least you know right out the gate or whatever so just you know trying to do the parody things and I think the parody is a huge part of the update that is going to really make the difference um, to a lot of people at the end of the day uh, regardless which version you play on uh, that parody features are you know unless you feel like you're losing something because you're getting it the way the other version has it but I don't feel like that's the case. I don't feel like they've taken anything away uh, doing the parody features. They've, if anything, been giving to the other version, you know. Um, I know in Java Edition you have the entity cramming, which, I mean, I guess that can be useful. Uh, Bedrock Edition, we don't have that. And I kind, I, I like not having it. <laughs> um, I definitely like not having it but you know if if they bring it to bedrock you know, I'm not going to be extremely um, upset about it but it's definitely going to take me some uh, getting uh, used to I got this banner thing here that uh, you know I think Rius plop it down right here let it be a little warning to any more pillagers that want to come this way let them know that we will wreck their day <clears throat> we will mess them up in the craziest ways get our gravel here so we can get these uh, walls partitioned off so we don't have water flowing in on us so we can dry this area out and I'm being pulled Yeah, that's going down into that other room is why it took so many. And I got blocks on my face. Oh, more. There we go. Um, ah, ah, right there. And we can do this. Couple right here. Out of the hole, out of the hole. Get a little more of that action right here. And hopefully we have enough gravel. What am I talking about? We have plenty of gravel. We have like a lot of wall here. We can shrink down if we need to. Uh get some more to block this off and I think that's I think that's enough to take us to where we're at and we should be able to um, where's the middle oh no, 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 no. I feel like oh uh, get get up there yep there we go <laughs> Um, okay. I feel like this is the middle. Okay. Now it's not trying to pull me down to my doom. There we go. Um, 
there so we can kind of keep track. And put a block there. Boop. And then put one there. Got him. That's all dry. Let's come to this side. And these sponges actually soak up a lot more than <clears throat> than you would think they would. Whoop. Let's get back up on that sponge. Oh, misplaced. I say that and then I go wasting sponges. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I got it. I overshot a little bit into the water, but that was fine. It got me. And get in my inventory. I feel like the most time consuming part of this is uh trying to keep track of your sponges i mean maybe it's just me like because i'm so paranoid about losing more because we lost two so quick even though i was trying so hard not to <laughs> because i had uh had issues with losing sponges before but i don't know i just i don't want to lose my sponges <laughs> Like, they are not exactly uh, the easiest resource in the game to come by now, are they? Uh, there we go. Let's hop up here. Yep, right there. And voila. Voila. And... Air. There we go. Um, then a nineteen thirty four would be fifty three. Uh, that's all of them. That sponge there. Whoop. Uh, let's get a sponge there. And I feel like I just screwed that one up. <laughs> I totally screwed that one up. There we Did it again, or did I? Okay, I guess I did okay. And just swim up here. I feel like that's the one water source. Could be wrong, but yeah. Use the wet sponge for that. Just one water source. Why uh, why wet them all, right? In fact, let's go ahead and take this block. And I want to get these out. Um, we don't want to have like this giant wall that we have to bridge up and break
we're getting progress. I, I, I'm not sure if this is necessarily any quicker than just having more water. But, uh, you know, we're, we are tearing down the monument as we go. You know, it's expected to take a little bit of time. Um, so that's, that's a thing right there that we can expect is just, it's going to take time. So, let's, uh, we can just, we still got water we could ride down, get these, half of these sponges are drying while we're about to be using the other half, because I got a feeling we're probably going to need them all by the time we get down to where we need to be, I could be wrong, uh, either way, I mean, they got to dry, so, we'll just throw them all in there make a little extra space in the old inventory by shuffling some things like oops, like that out go ahead and get these out and that probably gonna want a couple more stacks of gravel um, you know we just we want to make sure we have gravel to block that off it's going to be large openings, I believe. Though I could, I could totally be wrong about there being large openings. But I believe that's what we're going to be looking at. Um, oh, here we go. There's a spot. And let's, uh, that <laughs> trying to dig my way out of here <laughs> there we go and we should be able to reach that whole height from here without too much trouble oh we got friends them out of the way like quickly <laughs> real quickly okay yeah this is this is clear we can take care of that so we'll go ahead and work our way right on across here We're doing a lot more block breaking, um, you know, in the midst of the monument here. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not sure that it's actually more work than sponging. I mean, kind of, but not really. I mean, it helps break up the water, which I think might make the sponging go a little quicker i don't know i could be wrong that's like we knew we were going to be uh you know tearing it down as we go i think it's probably going to be quicker in the long run than if we were to you know drain the monument and then tear it down and all this and that i think i think by doing it in sections is gonna save us time right it's gonna make drying out the monument easier. Just I, I just I see more benefits to it than I do cons, right? So we're gonna go with that. Regardless how right or wrong I am on that. But uh point is at the end of the day, it's getting done. And again, this uh, kinda helps keep us from having that like repetitive uh, <clears throat> part of the grind feel that you know, just makes it feel like it's not going to end because we're kind of switching up tasks which help make things go a little easier I'd say in, in the long run right
let's get over here. We might need more than a couple stacks for what we got here. These are pretty big rooms now, which we would have to block off anyways. So yeah, I think uh, I think doing this the way we're doing it is probably honestly our best bet, right? Like, I can see definitely making it easier in the long run. In the grand scheme of things. here I mean obviously as we go down we're gonna have more areas right but I think that's I think that's up here done make sure we're not letting them get flushed away somewheres Gravel needs right here. There we go. Let's uh, take care of this stuff. up where we were like trying to wind a path up here but we are getting it man that dark prismarine looks so good whoa <laughs> that dark prismarine looks so good um Escape here? Yes, I can. There we go. Oh. How do I keep doing this? <laughs> if there is a hole to fall down, I am going to find it, I tell you. Um. Oh. The sad thing is, like, I'm not even doing it on purpose. <laughs> I just I, I just literally cannot cannot avoid it if I was doing it on purpose for a laugh or something like that I could understand it but I'm not <laughs> Uh, 
that's why it's so sad. All right, we are getting there. Okay. Whoa, you're not even in water. Wait, where did you even come from? There's not even a spawn spot here. Let alone the fact that you weren't even in water. It's horrible. Alright. Um, we're going to go right here. This way. Just dig straight in. Whoa. off um, so we're gonna I guess just kind of mine this out collect the resources and then we'll we'll swap out oh, yeah we'll swap out sponges and stuff because we're not gonna build a I mean without being able to you know wall it off we're not gonna be able to dry it either so we'll swap out sponges and stuff just because and and we'll come back block it off sponge it out and take it down to level 38 like we're pretty much through this one just about we are so close so close and I think I'm gonna grab like four stacks of gravel just to just to make sure I'd rather have too much than not enough and it looks like a lot of open space here I'm not even sure four blocks is gonna be enough to be honest and we just redid that let's uh this is the only spot right let's go up and clog this Man, we're really, we're really uh, putting the time to the stream tonight, aren't we? And we'll just cut through here real quick. We only had nine wet sponges. So, I mean, we weren't like uh, in dire need, I guess. Let's see. There we go. Let's uh, get that, 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 and that there. We can. Oh, we're about. This box is full. And we'll throw this all there and I think yes the dark prism arena is going to need its own box we have our inner chest here which I believe we should have Ooh. yeah empty shulker boxes I was worried there for a moment <laughs> That one can go there. And we can throw all this goodness inside it. Oh. That one can go there. And we can throw this goodness inside it. And we need a one more uh, for the dark prismarine. I didn't realize that the prismarine 
itself was full. So let's go dark prismarine here on the end, just like that. Grab whatever sponges we have. Oh, they're all dry. 53. We're at, we're at full capacity. And let's go ahead and do that number. And that'll let us get up here. And now we can uh, get to work, so to speak. in Maybe we won't need as many blocks as I thought we would. I mean, I've been wrong before. Won't be the first time. And less work uh, than I expected. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. Alright, so we need to come up here. of that I it looks to me like a lot of that water that I was just seeing that I thought we needed to drain was really just coming from that opening there so that that's good news a high spot right let's get our sponge in our hot bar so we know we're getting them back as we do this well that sponge actually took out a lot more water than I expected uh, let's try right in the middle of all this Whoa. and here There we go. Let's 
see, 46 and 7 would be 53, yes. That is a sight for sore eyes. Okay, so we're on level 39, so we need to go down one here. This puts us at level 38. Let's go right under there like that. Let's, uh, ooh. <clears throat> we are out of glass, so we'll have to come back with that. Put that up there. sure I forgot to collect all that off of the other side when we were just over there a moment ago uh, so I think a lot of this is gonna the dark prismarine and stuff is gonna be despawned on us which is sad but it's not the end of the world we will be able to get more especially once we get an ink farm so that we have black dye To the build um, if I have enough for what I'm wanting to do I don't know we'll see if we can work in what you know work it in to look good with the amount that we have I guess would be the way to deal with that and now we'll come back here uh, say torch a lot of gravel get me out of here it's nice to know we're going to end up with more than we had to begin with we were already flooded in it <laughs> but thanks to our shulker farm uh, shulker boxes are gonna make for easier storage and we are gonna it's gonna revolutionize and change the way that we store things in this world so yeah it's cool <laughs> We'll have an easier way to store it, which will make make for the difference. Alright, um... I'm definitely going to have to mend up our pick after uh, sometime before we get back on doing anything. Because after this stream, uh, that pick is... Is it's, it's already it's pretty much dead, <laughs> as you guys see. in and sponge sponge there we 
go. And sponge. Yeah, I still use the blaze farm. Um, I mean, sometimes I use the intermittent farm. But since we use the blaze rods for fuel most of the time. Um, blaze rods are just an easy fuel to get. That you get a lot, you know, a lot out of. Real never need for inner pearls, <laughs> as far as far as I can tell. Um, so I mean, we're, being at the stronghold base, um, just using the you know innerman farm is definitely more convenient. But I neglected the uh, blaze farm for so long that you know. Eventually, you do use up what you have, so uh, by using the blaze farm to mend up our tools and stuff, we'll be able to get all them hefty blaze rods that uh, we so need or desire. I mean, you can look at it how you want. Um, definitely need to get some glass over here. Side, so I don't want to, but we will definitely take these blocks out. Oh, didn't mean to take that one because these are gonna allow us to place our torches. Speaking of torches, let's get our lights down. We don't want things spawning on us. And right there. Where's our way through? Um. <clears throat> Inventory. Oh, I dug into the ground on this side this time. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's use gravel. We've got plenty of it. Definitely, definitely no shortage. just use my sword to break away our gravel <laughs> you know teach their own I suppose teach their own unfortunately that was me and that's not my style all right let's go ahead and get those in there so that they're cooking let's go ahead and oh that gravel box is full get all this gravel out of our inventory we can get this stuff out oh, got some granite there we got some stone water and trader I thought something was on top of me about to eat my face and yeah we got a nice clean inventory so we've made a lot more progress as you can see back here behind me i do believe we are getting pretty close to halfway now um we may even be there once that wall comes down which you know it's just some torch work and whatnot uh we'll pick up there next stream this stream's gone 
a lot longer than what we normally do. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And if you've enjoyed it, go ahead and follow me. If you're watching this over on Twitch, uh, following is the best thing that you could possibly do to help the channel out. Uh, it really does help a lot in the long run. And if you're watching this over on YouTube, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Helps the YouTube algorithm send us more uh, more uh, viewers and things like that. Also, if you subscribe, that would mean the world. Uh, that helps so much more than I can even begin to... Um, begin to tell you now um, let's go ahead and find somebody to raid hmm Got some uh, big name uh, people with a lot of viewers on tonight. Let's find somebody who doesn't quite have a lot of viewers. It's definitely not Minecraft. Let's uh, read Aleph Torres. I think uh, he's got 62 viewers. We'll check him out. Give him a big hello from us. And thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And I will see each and every one of you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.